Build a foolproof forward reverse circuit with two critical mechanisms, self-holding and mutual locking. We need two AC contactors to achieve forward and reverse rotation. Each contactor must have both normally open and normally closed auxiliary contacts. NO contacts create the self-holding circuit, while NC contacts form the mutual locking mechanism. Both contactors have coil terminals A1 and A2 at the top and bottom, which are internally connected. Now let's dive into the wiring process. Start by running the live wire from the MCB to the stop button, SB1, then to the forward button, SB2. Connect SB2 to coil terminals A1 and A2 of the forward contactor. Finally, connect the neutral from A1 back to the MCB. This gives you momentary control. The motor runs only while you hold the button. Now, for self-holding, connect the forward button in parallel with the forward contactor's NO contacts. Pressing the forward button allows the red wire to conduct. After releasing the button, the red wire has no current flow, but the yellow wire maintains power to the contactor, enabling self-holding. The reverse circuit follows the same wiring approach, using SB3 and the reverse contactor with NO contacts for self-holding. But what if both buttons are pressed? A disaster! Both contactors would engage, causing a direct short circuit. This is why we absolutely need mutual locking. So how do we wire the mutual locking? It is quite simple. Connect the forward button in series with the NC contacts of the reverse contactor. If the reverse contactor is on, its NC contacts will open, cutting off the forward circuit. Even if the forward button is pressed, the forward motion will not start. The reverse circuit follows the same principle. They are mutually exclusive. Ready to implement these techniques in your projects? Visit ATO.com for a wide range of motors, motor controls, passive components, and automation solutions to power you innovations. ATO.com, your go-to source for industrial automation solutions.